universal set and Venn diagrams. In order to understand the universal set and Venn diagrams, what we need to do, we need to first consider the definition of universal set and Venn diagrams. So let's first consider the definition of Venn diagrams. So Venn diagrams are the unique way to represent mathematical information graphically. It helps us to solve real world problems with mathematical logic. The Venn diagrams are represented by using rectangles and circles. The rectangle is used to represent universal set and circle for its subset. Universal set. In any given context, it contains all the sets. So what I'm going to do to establish the relation between universal set and Venn diagram, I'm going to consider a rectangle. So this is my rectangle, which is my universal set. So basically, this whole area inside the rectangle represents the universal set. Now, in order to establish the relationship, let's consider an example. So my example is, if set A is equal to A, E, I, O, U, then set of all the alphabet is a universal set. So as you can see, set A is given as A, E, I, O, U, which is basically the set of vowels. As we know, the alphabet does not contain only vowels. The alphabet has more than vowels, which is basically a combination of vowels and consonants. So in order to understand the relationship, let's first graph this one in the universal set. So if I do that, my Venn diagram will look like this, where all the elements of set A is over here, which is basically A, E, I, O, U. And my universal set, which is set U, is all the alphabet, which is A, B, C, D, E, all the way to X, Y, and Z. So, as you can see, universal set contains all the alphabet and set A is a part of universal set, which represents vowels only.